day everyone welcome to school media edufel's youtube channel today we're going to be discussing wave particle paradox in physics what wave particle paradox means for instance let's say two twins tim and tom became doctors one travels a lot and the other don't with time tim who travels looks younger and tom who don't remains remains at a place looks older why is that? This situation is known as a paradox. Light is not only a wave but also a particle. How can that be? Experiment was performed to deepen our understanding of this concept. We are going to watch this experiment by the young. This experiment is known as the young interference experiment that shows how this wave that we see whenever we throw an object into a water the ripple the pattern you see like small cycles appearing on the water or a vibration that you feel or the sound you receive into your ears are all waves how can that also be pattern we know that patterns particles sorry how can that be particle? We know that particles are the smallest tiny atoms that forms a matter. Everything we see in the world. But we see wave can also be seen as a particle. Now that situation is also a paradox. That the light can pass through a two slit and appear on the screen as little dots. We see on our old TVs, old computers, before a decoder is being connected, we realize that there are small, small, tiny, tiny, millions of particles on the TV. It is the light that is reflecting on the screen. I don't know if we understand it or if we get what I'm saying. Paradox in light. The fact that there are more than two parties of light can only be described in terms of light being made up of waves as it is on the left pictures where we see a ripple in the water a wave entering someone's ears light as a wave sound as a wave but on the left hand side we can see some tiny dots on the screen they are explaining the young interference experiment said that those dots are also light but the fact that the light arrives and gives up its energy as thought can only be explained by saying light is particle. This dilemma is known as a wave particle paradox. But in the physics realm, scientists have made us realize that we shouldn't be asking questions as that it is meaningless. But quantum physics makes us understand that we can. Quantum physics tells us that light can behave simultaneously as a particle or a wave. When a UV light hits a metal surface, it causes an emission of electron, electron in atoms, the negative charges. Albert Einstein explained this photoelectric effect by proposing that light thought to only be a wave, but it's also seen as a particle. When light weaken, weakens, it shows the dark area but when light brightens it is projected on the screen as small dots it behaves like a particle as seen on the left hand side of this picture however when the recorded particle count increases an interference fringe appears as seen on the light one can see from this light that light behaves as a wave when interfered with and when not whenever we throw something whenever in the experiment we've seen they don't interfere whenever a light hit another light it passes through it it don't interfere just like the image on the left the light when it comes in in the source Whenever you throw an object, it's just one. How about when you throw two objects? They just merge. They don't break. They don't scatter the pattern formed on the water. 
Now, in summary, it is known that among the four forces constituting the universe, the photon serves to convey electromagnetic force. The other three forces are gravitational force, the force that holds you and I together from falling or from floating. Strong force, the one that holds particles together. How does a, a stone form? There is a bond that you don't see. But quantum physics explains that particles made of matters. But we can't see what is holding them. The photon plays an important role in the structure of wave worlds where we live and it deeply involved with sources of matter and life. For you to know more on wave particles paradox, you need to know your quantum physics that explains the beyond. Now, by knowing the nature of the photon, we can utilize light more effectively. There are thousands and millions of things that light can do that we don't know. We knew a scientist said, he said, man, in the beginning there was light. God made everything with light. Man saw this light and couldn't comprehend, so he named this light God. But when, when you start to imagine stuff like that, you start to doubt your belief. But we're not talking about beliefs now. We're talking about quantum physics. I believe with this little effective innovation you have, this zeal, this question you're having, your imagination, it will make things happen to the fresh sensitivity, imagination you're having, enthusiasm of the views. You can also investigate and experiment more. Study quantum physics because it is very interesting. There are some things you will ask yourself again. But before we go off, before we round up, there are questions for you. Well then, how is it that the photon simultaneously possesses two completely different particles? And what exactly is a photon anyways? Good luck. Thanks for listening and watching. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye.